electron motion in a magnetic field. In this lab, you will be creating a cathode ray, a beam of electrons, and allowing that beam to travel inside a uniform magnetic field, which will alter its path. Here is your equipment. Inside this chamber is a cathode ray generator, which is inside of a glass sphere filled with low-density helium. You will start by plugging in the heating element. When that starts to run, you will see a small orange light turn on in this bulb. That is heating up an element enough that the electrons are very tenuously held on it and can be removed by your accelerating voltage. This multimeter is watching your accelerating voltage, which is controlled by the 0 to 500 knob. You're not going to go up to 500. As you start to turn on that knob, from that orange light, you will see a small blue line appear going straight down and out of the glass. That is your cathode ray. As you then turn on your magnetic field, which you're controlling through this knob here, and watching the current using this multimeter, as you turn on that magnetic field, you will see the path of the beam change because it is now in the magnetic field. You will be taking measurements of the accelerating voltage, which is effectively the velocity of the electron, the current going to the Hemholtz coils, which is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field, and the diameter of the ring that is, uh, that is the path of the electrons. When you are trying to measure all three of these variables, remember that the diameter of the path is the one with the fewest markings. So that's one that you're going to want to try to get exactly right. That's only marked in half centimeter increments. So I will recommend that you pick a voltage and then find what current is necessary to hit exactly on the glass ruler. So hit exactly 10 centimeters, then adjust your magnetic field to hit exactly nine and a half. Adjust your magnetic field to hit exactly nine. And then after a few of those, change your accelerating voltage again, and then find what currents are necessary to hit those exact meters. Because those diameters are the measurement that has the largest amount of uncertainty. Since you have a heating element inside of a bulb, that's effectively a light bulb. And just like a normal light bulb, these will burn out over time if we let them run too long. So make sure that when you're not using the equipment, you unplug the heating element and the orange light turns off. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Here's this lab's fun fact. There is no animal today that eats the avocado the way that is most advantageous for that plant. It's really optimized for a large herbivore megafauna, like the extinct giant ground sloth, or a mammoth. The only reason they're today you have them for your guacamole is because humans have been cultivating them.